Uh, <laughs> how we first met, I think, I think it was, uh, well, he was obviously in the U tree because uh, that's where we, we always was uh, when we first started going out. Um, and we were in there the one night, they'd got this, um, this drag artist or something on and, um, oh God. <laughs> And um, the drag artist asked someone to come up onto the stage to do something for 10 points. Me being me, back in my old days, I was, I was, I was up there before she even finished the sentence. <laughs> uh, the, the thing I had to do for 10 points was burn all my pubes off. <laughs> he burnt his pubes. <laughs> and like... Well... And uh, Cal was there. And uh, afterwards, that's when she first spoke to me and we first started getting talking. So that was, uh, that was when we first met. I don't know whether it was love at first sight. <laughs> You'd have to ask Kel. I mean, I'd, I'd seen him a few times. I knew he was really young, a lot younger than me, but is it really bad if I say, when I found out he got pubes, I knew he was like old enough. <laughs> I stunk afterwards. <laughs> ah, well. Obviously, nothing happened that first night because uh, I was very blistered. <laughs> no. So yeah, that was like the first time. But I, I thought he's a good laugh. He's a good lad. We um, we did. We started talking then, and I used to go in the pub every Sunday with my mum and dad for my Sunday dinner, and he'd come in after football, and and yeah, I really liked him. First date, first date was at the Orbital in Cannock. Uh, I was Kelly's little secret. No one, uh, no one knew we were together because uh, I think she, she thought people would have a problem with the, the age difference. It was exciting, but it was like we were both so nervous. Um, and all I can just remember, like, because whenever we go to the Orbital, now we try and sit at the same table that we that we sat at then. <laughs> Uh, I was so scared of not knowing what to say because we didn't really know each other that I wrote out on a piece of paper loads of things to talk about and every time there was a bit of silence I used to just look, look down at my hand under the table and then look at the next thing that I want to talk about. Can't remember what I ate. He ordered a cheeseburger um, and yeah it, just, it was flowing, it was, it was lovely actually, it was really lovely. How did I propose to Kel? Uh, I just threw the ring on the bed. Nah, I'm only joking. <laughs> well, it was our eight year anniversary and I'd been at work all day. And uh, the day before we'd said, right, that's TJ's day. So I was gonna, you know, be lovely to him. And then on our actual anniversary, it was my day. So on my night, I, uh, I was greeted home from work to a nice bath. Uh, then I had a massage, ordered me a pizza and then let me play Xbox without moaning at me. And that was my perfect day. And then it was my turn. I'd been at work all day. He'd phoned, he said, just let me know when you're on your way home. And I thought, oh, he'll probably get the waffles in when he knows I'm leaving or, you know. What I did was I bought a thousand candles. Bad idea. Bad idea. I never realised how long it would take to light a thousand candles. She found me from work and I says, you're gonna have to park around the corner because not, it's not quite done yet. Um, anyway, when I did get home and I opened the front door, he'd lit 500 candles, 500 candles. And it's a shame because like, I had it on video and I lost like my phone broke, but like I opened the door and it was just like a walkway of candles and the living room door was shut. Toby was nowhere to be seen and uh, when I opened the door he'd done like a heart in candles with our initials in and he was down on one knee with the ring. Uh, when she came in I had a big massive speech all ready to say and then I just froze and just went will you marry me? <laughs> and then I just well <laughs> I didn't know what to say for a minute um, then I started crying and I said yes then I kicked a couple of candles over, but we didn't like, I didn't burn the place down. There's just a little bit of wax that's still on the rug, but 
you know, it's like a nice memory. And then she said yes. She hugged me, then stumbled back and knocked all the candles everywhere. And the candle wax is still on the rug to this day. And then uh, we frantically blew all the candles out. And uh, he said, should we just go and have like a little drink at the pub to celebrate? So I was like, yeah, yeah. So when we got to the pub, he'd arranged for like all my family, all his family, like everybody was there, balloons, uh, Prosecco, everything. It was, it was just, it was perfect. Really, he's, he's a good one. It was fab. <laughs> well, I've got a horrible feeling that you're going to be hungover. Not going to happen. I don't drink anymore, or any less. <laughs> I reckon you. <laughs> I reckon you're going to be creased. I'll be creased. Oh, my uniform. Uniform. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's going to be ice. I think it'll be great. I think everything will go to plan. I think there'll be no fallouts. I think first dance will be amazing. I think everyone will cry. <laughs> I think I'll nail my speech. Mm. And that's it. I think everyone will have a great time. I hope so. I hope everyone likes the food. Yeah. Cheesy mash sounds amazing. I'm not going to lie. That sound, that, that's the, that's going to be the highlight of the day. Apart from obviously marionette. <laughs> the cheesy <Thanks>. mash. <laughs> well, I'm looking forward to the corn on the cob. There ain't none. There is. We had to cancel it. We, we couldn't afford it. <laughs> no, it should be good. It's um, I can't wait to see my little mum's face mm. and my dad, bless him, and everybody, because everybody. That's as, as as long as it's everything that you want it to be, and you don't sweat the small stuff. All that matters. I'm is the trying. Important things. I am trying. As long as the important things go to plan, everything else is. Well, let's just hope the suits come. The suits are on the way. Five days to go. Who are you talking to? We've got five days and the suits aren't even here. <laughs> Trust me. I've got mine anyway. <laughs> I see. That's a wrap. <laughs>